A woman never belongs to you. It's just your turn. Of course her parents don't have a problem with me being black. She's past the wall. Get your fat ass off the couch, start lifting weights, and learn game. You're welcome. So you got drunk at a frat party, then fucked the football team? You're not a rape victim, sweetheart. You're a slut. What's up, guys? It's your man Donovan Sharp, and welcome to the 410th episode of TSR Live, your daily dose of red pill truth, wisdom, and awareness. It is Monday, February 18th, 2019. Happy President's Day, everybody. If you guys got the day off of work or if your kid is out of school, hope you guys are having a safe and joyous President's Day. As usual, we are multicasting to three YouTube channels, three Facebook pages, and Twitter. So welcome in to our extended audience. Let's get right to it. We all know that most people understand what the signs of a woman's cheating are. She works late. She hangs hangs out with her friends one too many times. She's really, really chummy with Kevin and Sales, and all of a sudden, now there's a work weekend. There's a weekend seminar. There's a team-building activity late at night, right? Things of that nature. Her phone is buzzing at all hours of the night. We all know what those signs are. And this is red pill and blue pill men as well. Red pill aware men, we all know the obvious signs. Well, guess what? So do blue pill guys. Guys who are not red pill aware. This is just how it is. But a lot of times, a woman could be cheating. And you won't know that she's cheating because she is giving off she's giving off signs that she's cheating that not even she is aware of. See, women are very good at consciously hiding their cheating. They understand that they can't do or say certain things that would lead a man to believe that she is engaging in infidelity. She knows she can't text behind your back. So she goes to the bathroom with her phone, an obvious sign. She knows she can't tell you that she's working late. So she pulls off the I'm at Starbucks with my friend trick. I talked about that way back in episode, I think it was 83. All of that said, there are many, many covert signs that a woman is not aware that she is giving off that tells us that she's cheating. Most men are grossly unaware of this. At some point, when men get their suspicions, they say, okay, is she cheating or is she not cheating? right? Your spidey senses start to tingle. Her stories aren't adding up. Things aren't matching up. And before you know it, now you're asking to see her phone. Who are you with? What were you doing last night? I need the numbers of your friends and family members. Like it gets to these extremes because you just don't know. Well, tonight, Uncle Donovan is going to give you eight undercover signs, eight, eight signs that you probably would have never thought about that your woman is cheating. And don't get it twisted, guys. There are there there are very few, if any, coincidences. A lot of these signs you're gonna you're gonna sort of chalk it up to, eh, this may or may not be a coincidence. I get it. I understand. But I've experienced a lot of these myself. And if you think about it, when you think back on your relationships, you'll think to yourself, you know what? I remember when my woman did XYZ. I remember when my ex wife said ABC. I remember when my ex girlfriend did XYZ. So tonight, once again, I'm going to give you guys eight signs that your woman that your woman is cheating on you that you would never, ever, ever think of. These aren't the typical signs that your girls are cheating, guys. These aren't the typical female infidelity cheating signs. No, 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 no. These are signs that even she is not aware that she is giving off. She is doing she is doing these things subconsciously. She doesn't realize she's doing them. But for men who pay attention, guys, this is going to be an underlying theme to this episode. You must pay attention to you, you must pay attention to your wife or girlfriend. You cannot sleepwalk through relationships. This is how women get over on you. But if you pay attention, you will quickly find out whether or not she really is fucking around on you for sure. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight. My opening rant is brought to you by the Donovan Sharp mobile app which is the first and only mobile app in Manosphere history. You can schedule and pay for consultations. You can drop me a line. 
You can buy from the TSR Merchandise Store. You can purchase 21 convention tickets and more. And you can do it all right from the app. And you can do it all right from the app. <laughs> if you're an Android user, you can activate push notifications. Users who activate push notifications will always be the first to know when and where I go live, when there are new styles at the TSR Merchandise Store, book releases, and any other announcements. And I did not, I had a lot to do today, guys. Had a lot going on. Had a lot going on. A lot of production um, goes into these things. And the, you know, unfortunately, the um, the push notifications, that is the one thing that got left off by the wayside. So my apologies to Android users. Hopefully, hopefully YouTube shot you guys the notification. If not, I'll try to remember. Again, this is a one-man band, at least for now. I'm going to have to hire somebody. I'm going to have to hire somebody's, uh, I'm going to have to hire somebody um, uh, to, uh, to do some of this other stuff. If you have a question or comment about the not-so-obvious signs a female is cheating on you, give me a call, 914-205-5356. Follow and like me on Facebook and Twitter. Just do a search for Donovan Sharp on either platform. If you are on the mobile app, be sure to follow me on Instadon. If you want access to all of my content, go to patreon.com forward slash Donovan Sharp. There you will find the entire archive of all complete episodes of TSR Live, both audio and video. So you can watch on the go or watch at your leisure. Now you can watch, like everybody else, Monday through Thursday afternoons at 5 Eastern right here. But if you want to be able to rewatch or re-listen to the episodes in their entirety, less than 17 cents a day is all that it takes. Gentlemen, we all know that I could be shut down and or deplatformed at any time. Last year alone, I lost two YouTube channels. I lost a Facebook page and a Twitter account, and I would not be surprised if it's on the road. Now, none of this is going to stop me from doing what I do. This train is going to stay on the tracks regardless, but it could stop you from getting access to my content. The only way to ensure that you never miss out on my content is to either subscribe to my email list or download Donovan Sharp mobile app. Go to DonovanSharp.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, and plug in your email, and you are good to go. It takes literally... 2.75 seconds, so if somebody snaps their fingers and I get banned everywhere, you will always know when and where to find me. If you like what you hear, if you get something out of my content and you want to contribute to the show, you can do that through my Streamlabs link, www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp 1, www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp, and the number one, I am putting that chat in the link right now, YouTube wisely takes 30% off of Super Chat. So if you want 100% of your contribution to come directly to the show, the Streamlabs link is the best way to do it. Again, that's www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp and the number one. See you in Vegas. I see you on the line. Hold tight for a second. I'm going to get to the chat before we get this party started. Let us scroll to the top. Devin, if you are watching or listening, actually, I got a text from Devin. She says, your pick behind the TV looks like you were sniffing my ass or your head is on my body. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, I don't be sniffing asses. The only time I can smell, the only, listen, the only time I can smell ass is if there's ass paste, like as in a woman didn't scrub her ass before I fuck her. But that, of course, is for another show and day and time. At any rate, Ryan Sullivan finally, finally gets to pop the cherry. Congratulations to Ryan Sullivan for losing his TSR virginity. Kyle Mitchell gets the sloppy seconds. Luigi Conti gets to finish on her... I'm sorry. Luigi Conti gets to fuck her in her ass. Oaktown's Finest gets to finish on her face. Looks like Luigi Conti also gets to get it all on video. And Chase Rubidoux gets to watch it all go down. Fernando Trejo, good to see you in here. Recent patron of mine. Saw that you, become a, saw that you became a patron. I appreciate the support. Fernando Trejo. Kevin Howard, I said, <laughs> Kevin Howard says, I guess I'm listening from the outside. Yes, yes. Steve the Pilot says, I was definitely just in the wrong spot. Absolutely. Mike Shinnery says, spying in the window. <laughs> Good stuff. Sharp Assist is casting this one to the TV. Cam Camden McGinnis says, I want to finish on her face. Listen, there's nothing stopping you from finishing on your girl's face. Straight up. Kyle Mitchell says, unfortunately, he is at work, which means Kyle Mitchell is running the risk of getting that HR summons. Ryan Sullivan, holy shit, Donovan is wearing glasses. Yep. I uh, got a pair of glasses. 
And uh, I've got a little bit of a headache right now because my eyes are adjusting to the glasses. Uh, these, I am, I, I figured out, I had an eye injury, but I also figured out that I am farsighted. So everything, without the glasses, I can see everything far. Um, without the glasses, everything close, I have to strain a little bit to see. This is what was contributing likely to my migraine headaches. So I've got glasses to hopefully alleviate that pain. I'm not going to wear them all the time. Um, I'm just trying to get my eyes to adjust. But yes, listen, I'm 41 years old. You get older, this is what happens. This is what happens. Lorenzo Davis says, now I really look like a professor. Absolutely. Absolutely. Kyle Mitchell says, rocking glasses like a pimp, straight up. Mo C is in the house. <laughs> Ryan Sullivan says, Donovan went from pimp pimp to professor. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what? It's funny. I'm looking at the screen, and it actually looks like I'm the one with the tits. Oh, wow, that does look funny. You know, I'm going to have to move that. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to have to move that fucking picture. It looks, I don't know. I kind of I kind of like where it's at. I kind of like where it's at, but it does look funny like when Devin's tits are, looks like I've got Devin's tits. Clearly, you guys see I don't have any titties, at least not anymore. Mossy says, how did Devin's face align perfectly with Donovan's on that screen? I, listen, it, 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 I did not plan it that way. There I am. I've got Devin's tits again. So, listen, I'm moving into, um, uh, Devin and I are upgrading apartments uh, here uh, in six weeks. So everything is going to be rearranged. So no longer will I have Devin Stitz. Shout out to Fresno State with the $20 contribution. Fresno State with the $20 contribution. For whatever reason, like I said, I keep telling you guys this, the the alerts, the messages are not coming up on the screen. I don't know if you left one or not. If you would, Fresno State, put in a comment, put in $20, put in $20 just put $20 uh, note and I'll go ahead and read that. So shout out to Fresno State 17, and it won't show me the rest with the $20 contribution. Much obliged, my friend. You guys can also contribute via the Streamlabs link, www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp. R Unplugged says, do you think that open relationships are a solution to cheating? No. Anytime there is an open relationship, only the girl benefits from that. Right. So so if there's an open relationship, dude, 11 times out of 10, the girl is out getting all the dick she wants while the guy doesn't really get any pussy. This is just not how it works. Uh, open relationships. Listen, there is no solution to cheating. There's no solution to cheating. There's no uh, bulletproof um, silver bullet way to prevent cheating. Uh, listen, Devin could cheat anytime she wanted to. I've got all sorts of lockdown, this and that and the other. If she wanted to cheat, she could cheat. If a woman wants to cheat, she will cheat. There's nothing that you can do to stop it. That doesn't mean that you can't take certain measures to mitigate her, not desire to cheat, but mitigate her desire to cheat and get away with it. The idea is to make cheating as hard as possible for your woman, at which point she's got a choice to make. I can either go through, I can either jump through all the hoops of getting away with cheating, or I can just keep it real with Donovan and say, hey, look, Donovan, your dick is too big. Your dick is too small. I don't like you anymore. I don't love you anymore, blah, 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 blah. We all move on. No harm, no foul. That's just how that goes. Tech NHC says, damn, 30%. Fuck out of here, YouTube. Hey, listen, if I were YouTube, I'd take 45. Real talk. Real talk. HDJ Redline, he is on the bike listening. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Stan Lee says, the second best black poker player in the world is here to holler. I guess the... I guess the best black poker player is probably Phil Ivey. I imagine you're probably talking about Phil Ivey. Mosi wants to know if I got my eyes dilated. Yeah, they shot the little puff of whatever it was. Fresno State 1776 says, Donovan, love the show. Keep keep up the amazing work and dropping that knowledge. Appreciate that, Fresno State 1776. Armando Moreno says, not feeling the glasses, Donovan. Listen, neither am I. Neither am I. Um, yeah, not, listen, I don't love these glasses. I don't, um, I'm, listen, I'm not going to wear them all the time on the show, uh, but when I've got notes in front of me, um, uh, on these solo shows, that's, pr that's when I'm going to wear the glasses. Um, uh, when I just have a guest on like tomorrow, I've got Ryan Wednesday, I've got Kevin Samuels coming on Thursday. I've got Roosh. Um, and uh, I don't know, I might do a Friday show, but we'll, uh, we'll see what happens from there. 
914-205-5356 is the number to call. Let's go to the phone line. C in Vegas. You are on live at Donovan. What's going on, brother? D, what's going on? How you feeling today? Woo, not too bad, man. How about yourself? Actually, I feel good in the gym like crazy. I'm back at it like like a fucking Nazi, so let's get it. Atta boy. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, just uh, Actually, I got a simple question for you today. Sure, what um, you got, man? Because you remember you had a show talking about bad habits. Yeah. And then you also talk about bad you talk about bad behavior. Can you unpack the difference between bad habits and bad behavior? Oh, or, you know, is is there is there a difference, or you know, how you know something's a habit or something's a behavior? Do you just you know what I'm saying go through that? Yeah, yeah. Listen, absolutely. Bad habits are things a woman does when she's on autopilot, right? So, for example, um, right. a bad habit would be a woman who flirts with with guys if she's at work. She flirts. She doesn't think about it. She's just flirtatious. She flirts with the guy at the coffee shop. She flirts with the guy at the movie theater. Uh, those are bad habits. Bad behaviors are isolated events. If you are out and about and she disrespects you or if she um, or if she asks or here's another one. If you ask her to get you a Coke or a beer out of the fridge and she tells you no, that is bad behavior. <laughs> now, now, here's the thing. Bad, bad habits can beget bad behavior. A lot of women behave badly because it is a habit that they behave badly. But by and large, bad habits are things that women bring into a relationship that they've that they've always done before they met you. Bad behavior is just them getting out of pocket. Right. Also, Dia, I also got two, two suggestions for a jump. You got it. I think one, uh, maybe, maybe one week you should do gym week because, you know, for me, going to the gym transformed a lot of things in my life. Yeah. You know, just – the discipline, the consistency, and action. I think like Jim would be awesome. Also, maybe like like an episode, Donovan, like the most common bad behaviors and the most common bad habits and the proper responses to them. You know ah, I like you that. Know, you know what? I'm actually you know, going to make a note of that. Most most common bad behaviors. I, I think, Devin, if you're watching, put that on the put that on a notepad somewhere. I like that. The most common bad habits and bad behaviors and how to handle them. I like that. That's a very very good show not, topic, man. Oh, also, 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 Don, I was going to say, too, because I also feel like, you know, also, like maybe in the episode you can explain, like, you know, which is non-negotiable, like, if, if this happens on the spot, you get rid of them. Also, like, because you don't want to be, like, meat pill, red hell guys. Like, you know, if she just explains... If she fucks up even one fuck time, she's fucking gone! Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Also, also, also you don't want... You don't want <laughs> but you don't want to be beta sent either. That's all I got for you, big brother. Take I like care. it, man. D Listen, man, C in Vegas coming in here dropping the knowledge with the, with the rock-solid show topic. I like that. Devin, if you're watching... Either that or I'll have to um I'll have to um just go back and listen to that show. But or listen to the show. Very, very good suggestion by C in Vegas. I like that a lot. Erico two oh one, you're on live with Donovan. Go ahead, my friend. Hi, good afternoon. I really was just listening in because it sounds really interesting. Yep, sorry. I do not allow women to call my show. <laughs> If you are a woman, you are to you are not to be seen and not to be heard. Whoever you were, I appreciate you listening to my show. I appreciate the, uh, you know, whatever, if you're a fangirl, whatever the case may be. But I don't let women comment or call my show. Not when I'm in charge. Now, we'll let women call in on the Redman group, right? We'll let women call in when I, like when I was on uh, the Brother Pill, we'll let women call in. This ain't that kind of party, guys. This is not that kind of party. Somebody's got to be a fucking Neanderthal around here, and that dude is going to be me. If you're a woman, keep your comments to yourself. I have no interest in female commentary or female opinion. We've been listening to y'all for the last six decades, and you guys have done gone and fucked things up. So now it's on me to right all wrongs by you bitches out here. So if Erico 201, if you're feeling some type of way, go fuck yourself. If you want to unsubscribe to my channel, go fuck yourself. Give a shit. I am not interested in I am not interested in female opinion. Not interested in it, not one bit. Again, if you are a woman, do not comment or chat. You will sum, you will get summarily and quickly hung the fuck up on. It is guys, I'm here to tell you it is not that kind of party. You got a lot of guys out here who like to talk about, oh, bitches ain't shit, and da 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 but then they steady let women all up in the comment section. They let women call their show. No, fuck that. This ain't that show. I am not that guy. L listen, a lot of fake, listen, a lot of fake fucks out there. They talk all this shit. 
But then when a woman is on the line, ooh, no, 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 nope, not me, not I. Now, I'm going to have Devin on this Saturday evening, right? She's my girlfriend, and I'll give her the respect that she deserves as my girlfriend, provided she keeps holding it down as my girlfriend. But I don't debate or talk to women on this show. If you want if you want another crack at me, you're, you're, you're best served calling into the Red Mag group. And even then, you're going to have a very short leash. <laughs> Just ask Kitten Holiday. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, let's get right to it. Eight not-so-obvious signs your girl is cheating on you. And I want you guys to keep in mind... That these are in no particular order, guys. I just random. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I thought very long and hard about this list. I, can, I actually had about 25 of these, and I whittled it down to the eight most common. So, number one, the first sign, the first not so obvious sign that your girl is cheating on you is all of a sudden she starts putting her phone face down. Gentlemen, the smartphone is the most important tool in a female's arsenal of fidelity. She's got her female allure, which obviously stupefies men, right? She's got her lying, which females are experts at these days. And she's got her backstory and her alibi setup, which involves her friends. A lot of the time, you know, as I've talked about in the past, back in episode 83, as I referred to before, all of these tools are very, very important. Now, it's very easy for females to cheat as we all know, but getting away with it, that's why they need their smartphones. Because without their smartphones, it is very difficult, if not impossible, for females to get away with cheating. Now, as men, we realize this, right? We realize that the smartphone is the gateway to cheating. George Bruno effectively calls smartphones a box of dicks for women. I could not agree more. But for whatever reason, we as men don't pay attention to our woman's phone. We know her phone is the engine that drives the cheating, but we rarely pay attention to what she's doing on it, where her phone is, or how it's positioned because men are either oblivious or afraid. If you're watching this right now, you're not oblivious. So you're afraid. Afraid to say, let me see your phone. Or afraid to say, who are you texting? Really? Show me. Prove it. Now, for the record, I, Donovan Sharp, I am a possessive controlling motherfucker. But when you ask to see the phone, this is where females exploit a man's fear of being labeled as jealous or insecure, or possessive or controlling. I'm possessive and I am controlling. Okay? And any female that has a problem with that, she can go fuck herself. That's how I roll. And as far as I'm concerned, if you're a female, if you ain't with it, you can get the stepping. The problem is, is that most men are unafraid to say shit like this and actually mean it and carry it out. The first time they ask their girlfriends or wives, you know, she'd be like, uh, hey, you, uh, you mind telling me who you were texting just now? She says, OMG, you jealous, insecure, controlling, possessive fucker, it's none of your business. What does the guy do? He apologizes. He backs off and he stops paying attention to her phone because it is now off limits. And when she gets a text, and, and when your girl gets a text from Dave, the unemployed garage band player who may or may not live in a storage unit, when he texts your girl to come over and blow him out of practice, you don't see it because her phone is face down. And because you're afraid to even look at her phone, you won't find out she's been fucking him for the last three months until she tells you that the two of you need to take a break. Pay attention to what she does with her phone when she's not on it, okay? If you never see it unless it's in her hand or she always places it face down, she is taking someone else's dick. Well, what if she always puts her face phone down, her phone face down, Donovan? It might just be a habit. Then you've got yourself a bona fide slut on your hands, player, because one of the many telltale signs of a slut is a female who puts her phone face down by default without even thinking about it. Guys, this is why you should always pay attention because these small details are always the one that slip through the cracks because you're too busy staring at her tits. You don't pay attention because she fucks you every day. 
get your heads out of your asses. Stop looking at hers and pay the fuck attention to her phone. Dudes wonder why they always get played. They always wonder, they always wonder why they get cheated on by these grimy ass females. Okay? But these are the guys who sleepwalk through their interactions with women because of their scarcity mindset. Now, a couple of supplemental signs here to number one in the phone category is A, her phone buzzes or go off, goes off. She she checks it, but she doesn't respond. And number two, her phone is always completely silent around you. If she checks her phone and she doesn't respond, that's probably the dude she's fucking telling her what day and time they're going to meet. And because there's really no need to respond, she won't. She could also be waiting to respond when she goes into the bathroom. And by the way, never, ever allow your woman to take her phone into the bathroom. This is a hard and fast rule I have made for Devin. She abides by this rule to this day. Also, if her phone is completely silent when she's around you, she's either got her phone on airplane mode, airplane mode, or she's put it on silent. The reason is obvious, which is she doesn't want you suspecting anything. So if there are no sounds, there's no suspicion. Out of earshot, out of mind as far as she's concerned. Again, pay attention. There's a reason you never hear her phone when she's around you. And trust me when I tell you, this is not a coincidence or an accident, guys. This is by design. How a woman's pubic hairs can indicate cheating, plus more of your calls and comments after the break. We'll be right back. From August of 2017 until just yesterday when I did my consult with Donovan, I've read 10 books, all red pill books, and one hour consultation with Donovan gave me as much insight as all 10 of those books. I was a wreck when I booked my consultation with Donovan. He took me out of a long ass dry spell in two calls. Donovan gave me real world, no BS truth that you don't get from your family, friends, counselors, and most other people. Donovan woke up the inner beast that was sleeping inside of me for at least 10 years. Donovan helped me create a new vision for my life. He knows how to help men maximize their time, money, energy, fitness, and relationships. Best money ever best. Book a consultation with Donovan. Get that consultation in. My girlfriend gives me slutty, submissive sex anytime I want. And she does it all, guys. She swallows takes anal, facials, anything and everything I want. And she willingly does it all with a smile, looking like the slutty porn star stripper I trained and demanded her to be and look like. And by the way, she never turns me down, ever. If you want to learn how to get slutty submissive sex from your wife or girlfriend anytime you want, booking a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me is the solution. Now, I want to make it crystal clear to you guys that I don't give my clients theories or ideas or say things like, maybe you should try this, or I've heard of so-and-so do this, and it seemed to work. Nah, man, that's not how I roll. I advise men based on my own personal experience. I advise men on what I've done in the past, what works, what doesn't, and what I do to this day to get the sex I want out of my woman. I give you actionable, real-world solutions that any man, including you, can put into practice today and start seeing results. And if there's any doubt in your mind whatsoever as to whether or not I know what I'm talking about, do not pay me a dime until you listen to the testimonials from actual clients on DonovanSharp.com forward slash consults. I can also coach you on how to approach women, escalate sexually, and close the deal. I can teach you how to build a stable of women who are at your beck and call when and where you want. But if you're not into the player lifestyle, I can show you how to maintain dominance and control in your relationship in order to keep your wife or girlfriend in line and happy to be with you. Now, we all know that there are a lot of fraudulent guys out here who are a little more than internet gangsters who just regurgitate what guys like me talk about on a daily basis. We also know that any idiot can get in front of a camera and say, my girl does whatever I want, whenever I want, and for just $4,000, I can teach you the easy way to do what I do. A lot of guys make a lot of claims about the women they've slept with or the control they have over the women in their relationships, but I'm the only guy who actually proves it. Now, my consultations are not cheap, but there is a way you can save a ton of money while getting the advice and guidance you need without breaking the bank, and that is to become a patron. 
As a patron, you can save up to 45% on my consultation fees and get up to 30 minutes of one-on-one -on -one coaching at no additional charge every single month you are a patron. So if you want your wife or girlfriend to look and fuck like my girlfriend, if you're looking to add a few new girls to your roster, or if you want to improve your relationship or marriage, go to patreon.com forward slash Donovan Sharp to become a patron, or go to donovansharp.com forward slash consults. Book your one-on-one -on -one consultation today. TSR Live with Donovan Sharp is brought to you by Tactical Soap. Looking for a 5% bump in alpha attitude? You need Tactical Soap. Make her laugh, then make her wet. Buy Tactical Soap through Donovan's affiliate link on DonovanSharp.com. Use promo code Donovan to get 10% off. <sighs> Tactical Soap. Welcome back to the 410th edition of TSR Live on a Monday. Good to have you guys in tonight. For those of you joining from my Facebook pages, my Twitter feed, from my other YouTube channels, thank you guys very much for coming over. Be sure to subscribe to my weekly newsletter to stay in the know in the event that I get deplatformed here or anywhere else. If you want to make a contribution to the show, like Fresno State, uh, I think it was 1776, www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp and the number one. Again, that's www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp and the number one. 914 205 is the number to call if you have a question or comment about the undercover signs, the not so obvious signs that females are cheating. If you'd like your music featured on the show, send me a few tracks. Make sure you send your stage name, the names of your tracks the label, and where your music can be found. That last track was Left for Dead by The Failsafe. That's another one of their newest tracks. Same guys who put the lyrics to my theme song. You can actually watch the official video for Left for Dead by The Failsafe. You can watch that video on the Donovan Sharp mobile app. There's a whole section there for The Failsafe on the Donovan Sharp mobile app. You can visit their website, watch their videos, Link up with their Facebook page. Be sure to visit their website, Their website, wearethefailsafe.com. They've got some big announcements coming up, and you can also find them on Facebook and Instagram. Just search We Are The, Sail the Failsafe, one word, when you search. So big shout-out to my guys Jesse, Kieran, Kayo, and Chad for laying down that track, and a special thanks goes out to Jesse for sending that bad boy over. Those guys are unbelievably talented, and I cannot wait to see and watch them in person. Very, very talented group. If you are watching on Facebook, Twitter, or on one of my backup YouTube channels, come on over to my main channel to watch the rest of the show. Search Donovan Sharp on YouTube, and the first channel you see with my face as the logo is the channel you should come and subscribe to. Again, if you are watching on Facebook, Twitter, or one of my backup YouTube channels, come to my main YouTube channel to watch the rest of the episode. Let us go back to the chat while I shrink the audience here. All right. Oh boy, we got some. Oh, we got some. <laughs> Rolla Tomasi is in the house. Says, "Quiet, woman. Men are talking. Dude, men are speaking. Yeah, dude. If you're a woman, don't call my show. Like, dude, you're. You, listen, you're gonna get embarrassed. You're gonna get embarrassed." Ryan Sullivan says, "Roosh is finally showing up." No, listen, Roosh has never agreed to be on my show until until now. Roosh has never flaked on me. I've wanted Roosh to come on my show. We've had scheduling conflicts. Scheduling conflicts has been resolved. So Roosh has never told me that he's coming on my show. He's never flaked on me. He's always been very upfront and honest about his schedule. And listen, Roosh is a busy guy. He travels around the world. He's got a crazy blog. He just released a book. And um, and of, listen, he's he's a busy guy. And so am I. And it, you know, it just takes a while for two busy guys to finally link up. And uh, this Thursday, the 21st, is finally the time that he and I are going to be uh, able to do a show together. So I'm looking forward to that. We're going to talk about anything and everything. And yes, uh, we are going to be taking phone calls. So you guys can call in and talk to Roosh V. Roosh Valizade. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. 
Freelance Ronan says he dropped the hammer on her ass, and I will every time. I love it. <laughs> oh, boy. Shout out to Jesse Weber with the $5 contribution. Says, thanks for the love. Jesse Weber. To watch or listen to the rest of this episode, go to DonovanSharp.com. Thanks for watching.